Hello everyone. This week we're going to be grinding some, uh, well actually hard milling and grinding these bushings. Uh, we got a small job from Top Line uh, Engineering. Uh, you remember some of the videos we did with Mike Paulette in there. So they had a job. They don't have any grinding capabilities. And so they turned these up and put the keyways in these bushings. And they just need the OD ground, need the ID ground. And so there's 30 of them. And there's probably seven to ten thousand stock, closer to ten on most. Uh, it's going to mean that when I grind these, there's going to be a lot of wheel dressing. So we're going to set them up in the mill first, use the CBN insert, and then we're going to hard turn and take all the stock uh, and leave about two thousand stock. So that will make the grinding much faster. Kathy will be able to uh, uh, work on the mill over here and turn the ODs, and then. Uh, I'll take them over and I'll, I'll finish grind. And after that, we'll be making a fixture where we'll be using a boring head and we'll be able to set these in and we'll, we'll bore these the same thing, leave about 2,000 stock and then we'll set them up with our air tools on the surface grinder and the spin fixture and then we'll grind the ID out of these uh, bushings and then that'll be done. So Kathy's going to come over here and she's going to demonstrate uh, how this works. I got the mic on, so I'll do the talking. But basically, we got an arbor that is fitting real close to the ID, and uh, so she can just uh, stick uh, the wrench in there and get it just finger tight right now because uh, the arbor has a few thousands in, and the, the bushing can be out a little bit. So she's going to slide up this indicator. Just see where she's at. Let me take your hand off the indicator. There you go. Okay, that's your high spot. Yep. Now you want to tap that roughly halfway. Diamond that was in here, a little cluster diamond. 
And uh, so now I got that, it's on the center line here so I can grind and I got just maybe a quarter inch, half inch that I got to go for redressing the wheels, going to save me a lot of time. In the future, I will uh, uh, mount a, a 7 16 pin with a block where I can put a single point diamond that you can pivot and lock down and then that way I can use this to dress the side of the wheel as well as the bottom so it'll be a multi-function dresser and the nice thing about this is I got to bolt it down on the spin fixture maybe you can unbolt this and then if you got taller parts that you're grinding on the magnet instead of winding down to your short uh, part I can put this on it's taller and uh, I won't have to wind for the taller parts as much and what's nice with the screw hole in the middle if I got some really tall parts, I can mount this on a block and make it even taller. So it just gives me a broad range of things uh, uh, that I can do with uh, this one simple tool. So I'm going to throw this unit up right now. I'm going to throw it up on the grinder. I'm going to make sure I get all the necessary edges clean. The grinder's been started and warming up pretty good. Electromagnets, when you turn them on, sometimes they take a second or two uh, to uh, get the power up. So you, you don't want to let go of your unit right away. You want to make sure that electromagnet has time to get the full power. Now, now this, this is, is going to be the first time that, that I've actually used this wheel dresser. Uh, with the, uh, I used the diamond before, but the wheel dresser, this would be the first time. Right now I'm trying to establish center. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm moving this back and forth where I can hear it and see the sparks. And right there is about the center. And so what I want to do is I want to move it just slightly off center. And then that way if you watch one of our previous uh, videos on uh, using the spin fixture. If I'm off center a little bit, if I get taper in the part, I don't have to worry about it. Uh, the fact that I'm crossing, if I have the wheel mounted on right on center and my tool's not lined up, I would be crossing the center line. I'd, I'd be grinding uh, uh, an hourglass because it'd be hitting high here uh, and, and low there. So by moving it off center like that and coming down, I don't have to worry about crossing the center line of the part and then taking out the taper uh, will be much easier. Want 
check and make sure I got that tight. And then the other thing I have to do, as you can see, I got coolant leaking. I forgot to put my guard. Yep, it's tight. Use the air hose over here just to remove some coolant. Just a light shot. And the target I'm shooting for is about two tenths under one uh, 378. And so right now I'm at one inch 379.1. Check my taper. I'm at one inch 370 and 50 million. So that'd be plenty close. Uh, there's almost a thousandth tolerance that I have on this. Anytime I make a cut and where I do a check, I always want to come across, take my cut, come back and take a, a blank pass. Bottom line, if you can see sparks or hear a cut, there's always something that's coming off. Right now we see some real small sparks, but that way I know I got all the spring taken out of it. And if, if I don't do the blink pass, you're more than likely going to end up with some taper. I'm going to hit the air hose again. Again, very light blast just, just to pull the coolant off. One three seventy eight six. Okay, we're one three seventy eight five and a half. Seventy eight five and a half. I'm going to play around with wheels. This is a aluminum oxide ceramic mix. I just wanted to see how it cuts. The parts 01 at about 60 Rockwell. Uh, 
the sound uh, is not quite what I like in it but that could be a couple reasons the finish looks nice but the sound uh, in it uh, sounds like it's cutting a little harder than what I want but what we'll do is we'll finish it up because on this part the finish looks nice uh, but uh, I mounted this wheel last night and one thing uh, I've never really talked about before now uh, is when you have the, the paper uh, bladders that are on there when you tighten the wheel and you leave it on overnight the next day you want to just retighten your wheel because these compress and then your wheels not going to be as tight as it was the day before so so I think that might be part of what's going on right now and again this spin fixture is more than accurate enough for these parts right here but I, I get about a, 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 a one tenth total run out flutter that takes place and you can actually see that in the sparks but it, like I say it's plenty accurate for what we're doing on uh, these bushings and I think I want just a little bit lower than what I want but it will still be in tolerance Get the coolant with the air a little bit. Okay, we were shooting for one inch three seventy seven and eight tenths. And I got one inch 377 and 7 tenths. And one inch 377 and 6.5. And I'll come back over here. And I'm getting 6.5 again. So it's always good to take multiple measurements because when you're working on round, getting your mic just the, that right feel, it can change a tenth or two on what you measure. We'll take the part off. And you notice that uh, I made this so that when I'm grinding my part that uh, this dresser is lower so I know I can freely uh, wind back and get everything out of the way for removing the bushings. And you hit the blow some of that excess coolant off and I'll set this on the granite table and Adam can take a picture of the finish the finish actually pretty good pretty awesome really I don't know if I'm I'll, I'll play around with different wheels but I don't know if I'm gonna beat that finish or not Okay, we're going to finish up the ODs on the bushings. I got to make a little fixture to hold these on the mill. We're going to use a boring head with that CBN insert. We're going to take most of the stock out of this and then I'll switch over uh, using the same fi uh, spin fixture but then I'll have our ID grinding attachment that I'll set up on the surface grinder and we'll finish uh, uh, the IDs on there and then our part on these will be done. So we'll see you in a little bit.